After silencing my power in Ver, I became a man on a mission. A mission for silence. glance at the current setup. The multi-point power tracking MPPT solar charge controller does utilize a variable fan speed control. So at lower charging amperages or temperatures, it'll run the fan on low speed and it'll only run at high speed with high current or high temperatures. Next to the charge controller, I added this cabinet fan attached to this thermostat. Otherwise, the hot air from the inverter and solar charger would just constantly accumulate inside of the cabinet with no escape. And on the other side of the cabinet, I haphazardly drilled a handful of ventilation holes to exhaust all that hot air. Enough on that, let's remove and dissect this solar charge controller. Taking a look inside, you can see this metal casing is huge compared to the small circuit board, and there's almost three and a half inches of wasted space here. Now, I might be able to add another fan or even possibly two on top next to the original fan, and I could run them all at a reduced speed, so that would certainly quiet the fans down. But I think I want to go in a different direction. Looking at the back of this circuit board, you can see it's a huge aluminum heat sink. And I think I'm going to just upgrade to a much larger fan and place it right there. Look at the size difference from the factory fan here. And while I'm at it, I might as well upgrade my cabinet fan to a much larger and quieter model too. Let's widen out the old cabinet fan inlet and make way for the new unit. Now I'm liking the way it looks. Now I'll line up some new measurements for our solar charging fan. A huge benefit of this setup over the factory fan is that it's bringing in cool air from outside the cabinet instead of simply recirculating the hot air inside the cabinet itself. Now for a quick cleanup. And wow, does that look great. Let's throw some paint on it and make it official. At this point, I could just cut a hole in the back of the solar charge controller, throw the fan next to it and call it a day, but I think for no good reason at all, I want to shrink this unit down and get rid of that airspace. I also widened that top air outlet to be a little less restrictive. Now to drill new holes for the motherboard. A quick coat of paint will prevent any rusting. And since I don't want anything falling down into the top of the solar charge controller, I'm going to add this nylon mesh screen to the top. Wow, does that look much better. A nice slim form factor. Now I'll just 
just quickly splice the new fan into the old fan's wiring. Then mount it all into place. And you know what, these fans are quiet, but at 100% power, they're still a little noisy. Plus running this cabinet fan at a semi-unregulated 12.6 to 14 and a half volts could spell long-term damage for this 12 volt DC motor. So I'll add in this little variable voltage DC step-down converter, just so I can better regulate and control the voltage going to the fan. much better. So that's it. Check it out. Okay, and if you guys are in the mood for a dirty little secret, well, I completed this project over four months ago and ran nearly 250,000 watt hours through the unit. It's worked flawlessly, but there was a casualty. I killed my fridge. Again. This time I didn't drill any holes through any condenser lines and leak out all my refrigerant. No, this time all that extra air getting pushed through the cabinet and onto the fridge itself. It was just too much heat. Compressor couldn't take it, compressor no longer turns on. As we are well aware, the fridge dissipates its heat through the sides, and yes, I knew that when I was doing my very rushed van build, but my original fridge lasted almost two years without any problems there. The only thing that killed it was when I punctured the cooling line itself. Anyway, back to the cabinet. So quiet now, the solar charge controller is so nice and silent, power inverter nice and silent, and definitely a worthwhile upgrade. So at this point, that's it. Feel free to make fun of my misfortune on the fridge down in the comments, or say something nice, make me feel better. Anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.